Russia and Ukraine continue to trade accusations over the fatal crash of a military transport plane that was carrying 65 Ukrainian prisoners of war. This, as a senior Russian lawmaker now says, that Ukraine's military intelligence had been given a 15-minute warning before the plane entered the area where it was shot down. Moscow accuses Kiev of downing the plane in Russia's Belgorod region. Russia's investigation committee claims that the plane was struck by, an, by a Ukrainian made surface-to-air missile. The crash killed 74 people on board, and this includes 65 captured Ukrainian soldiers en route to be swapped for Russian prisoners of war. Although Kiev has confirmed that a prisoner exchange was due to take place on Wednesday, Ukraine's military intelligence spokesperson has said that country, that contrary to, the, to practice, they had not received any information about the flight arrangements. Ukraine says it had no comprehensive information about who was on that flight. Russia is calling it a terror attack, while Kiev is seeking an international probe. Meanwhile, the United Nations Security Council met on Thursday at the request of Russia to discuss the downed plane. UN Political Affairs Chief Rosemary De Carlo says that the council is not in a position to verify the circumstances of the crash. We understand both Russia and Ukraine are conducting separate investigations into the incident, and Ukraine has called for an international probe. The United Nations is not in a position to verify these reports or the circumstances of the crash. What is clear is that the incident took place in the context of Russia's invasion of Ukraine and ongoing war. Ukraine aims to launch its own investigation into the incident as Russia has sole access to the crash site. Conflicting narratives from both sides are now a daily feature of the Russia-Ukraine war that is about to enter its, its next year. Now, this comes as the Russian Defense Ministry also claimed that its air defenses had shot down a Ukrainian drone in the Belgorod region on Wednesday.